Hello again, class. It's me, Mr. Jerry, and we're back for the second part of our two-part, the dragon or the flappy bird. So, when last we left our hero, we were at this stage, the reverse fold or the mountain fold as I call it. Does anybody remember how we got to this point right here? Well, if you don't, don't worry, because we're going to review it and move right on to the exciting conclusion. So, as always, we make sure our hands are flexible and relaxed. We take our square piece of paper and we fold it corner to corner, edge to edge. We don't crease until we're confident and patient. As you can see, I was a little impatient for the sake of demonstration and didn't match it up perfectly. That's okay because I can always refold. So we make four triangles by folding on one side. Using the table if we need to. Otherwise, because we practice, we get better and better, more confident. We have four triangles. We're going to flip the paper over. And we're going to make four rectangles. Folding it back. small triangles here, two small triangles on the bottom, and two large triangles here. We're going to break these into triangles by folding a second rectangle, making a total of eight small triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now as we remember, we can fold this into two forms. The diamond beak or the triangular spike beak. We are going to go for the diamond beak. And the next part is very important. We want to make sure that we fold two edges here, two edges here, and the open part of the diamond is going to be facing us, facing our heart, so that the sealed part is facing away from us. Now. For the sake of demonstration, I am going to make a line where there is a crease. So there's a crease here, and there is a crease here, just in case you don't see it in the camera. We're going to make a kite fold. We're going to fold this edge up to this line that I just made. Not past it, not before it, but to it. Careful and confident. Now, because we've learned the word symmetry and symmetrical, what we do to the left, we're going to do to the right. Pretty much through the whole form, except the very end. And we're going to do to the front what we do to the back. left to right symmetry or top to bottom symmetry and we are going to do left to right symmetry. So right now you have a kite fold with the opening on the bottom. Do you see this triangle right here? We're going to gently pinch it forward, not strong, but just a little crease. And on the back, a little crease. All right. Next fold is a little tricky, but I think we can do it. Do you remember with the cup, we peeled one layer and exposed another layer? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to open the kite. We're going to peel this forward a little bit, holding our finger here, and we're going to create what I like to think of as the hungry baby bird. Do 
You see this? We pull back gently. And with our fingers and our hand, we seal it up. From the bottom, we crawl up. And we make the skinny diamond that has a line going straight through. We flip it over. Open the kite, peel, lift up. You might have some snags, that's okay. You never want to go heavy handed, Frankenstein hands on the whole thing and try to smash. You want to Gently work it until it works itself out. Work it until it works itself out. Now I got going to copyright. All right, now you have the skinny diamond, and we're going to make it have walkie legs. The walkie legs face us. At this point, we're going to bring our finished model, Herbert, out. The top are going to be the wings. The bottom is going to be the neck and the tail. And I'll show how that's done right now. So, thank you, Herbert. We're going to pull here. Do you remember when we folded the samurai hat, we folded all the way up? We're not gonna fold all the way up, and we're not gonna fold just to the side. We're going to fold this diagonally up on one side. Crease it. Then we're going to fold it back down so we have a marker, a crease, a place where the paper is weaker and can fold more easily. We're going to do the same thing to the back, keeping it symmetrical for now. Fold back down. Now, this part will need your patience and you may need more than one try to do it. We're going to open this up on the side. push this through. We're going to open it up on the side and push it through. Same thing with the back. Turn it over, open it up gently on the side, with our thumb, pop it through. You decide which side is the tail and which side is that beak. I'm going to make the right side the beak. And once again, I'm going to bend it down on the side. Pinch it a little bit to weaken the paper. Open it up in the middle. Push this through. Pinch it in the middle, just like I did this. And we have the beak. So. Here we have the back, the place where the wing meets sort of the bottom of the tail. At this point right here, this point right here, we're going to fold it. And we're going to have the edge of the wing touch the bottom of the neck. The edge of the wing touches the bottom of the neck, and we bring it back up. Same thing on the other side. The dull edge. Touch the bottom of the neck and then back. At this point, we pinch the bottom of the neck and the tail, do you see how the tail is moving this way? We're just going to hold the tail and bring it up this way. This is the dragon or the flappy bird. If at any point you uh, have difficulty, just go back through the steps, pause the video, and I'm sure, I have confidence in you, that you'll be able to make a bird or a dragon that flaps.
this is a tricky one, and uh, I want you to take your time. As always, thank you for folding along, and we'll see you next time.